Hello, Ben Open here from Wildtech. Today, I'll be demonstrating an extension for Business Central to help manage expenses. It's called Continue Expense Management. So the idea here is that I, as an employee, can submit an expense claim through to my manager for a reimbursement, but we can also apply the costs of that expense against the job. The idea there is that we can allocate the cost but also understand our profitability over time using our dimensional tools and approval process and continue our expense management, we can achieve all these things. So let me share with you my screen and show you the system. So as you can see, I'm signed into Business Central with my Wildtech account and I'm signing to a user called User1. Now I've already gone ahead and installed Business Central extension called Continue and here we have the interface and how we can submit an expense claim. All I need to do is click on new, enter in the items that we need to enter, including an, in an invoice as well. So the amount we'll do example, the currency is obviously in Australian dollars in this example, but we could do multi -cur currency as well. The document date we'll pick, let's say April 15th. Now we can select what type of payment it is whether it's a credit card or a cash payment, or if I've got a corporate card, I could use that as well. Here, I'm just doing a uh, reimbursement to my private card. I can also select what type of expense this is. Now I mentioned this is accommodation, so I'll select that. But we could also have an expense where we've got other employees um, that have enjoyed a dinner, for example, and we can allocate those employees to this expense as well. Next is the description. Let's just take a quick description like Holiday Inn accommodation. Now, the next section is the admin comment where I could do something like, this expense has been approved, please reimburse. Or any other message that would be important for you to share back to your manager. Now, we've got two elements here to manage uh, in terms of dimension analysis. Dimensions are very handy, so we can actually work out how profitable we, are, profitable we are based on the departments and as well as based on the customer group. Uh, and this can also help for our analysis against dimensions, so we can work out how profitable we are, profitable we are against that job. Here we pick the job numbers that we'd like to apportion this to, or allocate it to, I should suggest, as well as what job planning line we'd like to select. Now I've got a few in this environment and I'll scroll down to the bottom where I've got expense. Now, this final checkbox is whether or not this is billable. Now, in this example, it's not, but if you've got an expense that is billable to the client and there's agreement that your client will pay for this expense, you could check that box, and then an invoice can be sent for this, um, this expense. Now, I've got something on my desktop, which I'll just bring across, which is an ex just an example uh, tax invoice. We can attach it here, so it's a drag and drop process. We could also use a camera to capture that as well if we'd like to do it that way. The system can automatically OCR as well. Um, and now we've done everything we need to capture the information. All I need to do is press submit. And my job's done as wild one. So I can now move across to my business central environment. Here you can see I'm signed in as my admin user. In this environment, I'm the payroll officer, as well as the um, uh, expense manager. Um, so I've just pressed synchronize. Now that's going to connect to the continuous servers and identify any new expenses that have come through that are pending. Um, we can automate this process, but just for demonstration, we'll continue with this. And you'll see it says synchronize has been completed and we've got one new expense. So if I click on pending here, we'll see that expense. Now, as you can see on the screen, we've only got one to process. There's the image, which I can uh, scroll in and scroll out and rotate if I need to do so as well. Um, but then I can actually also edit this. So here is the information from user one, the name of the person that was submitted, what the payment types, uh, type, what the payment type submission is. In this example, as I shared, it's to be reimbursed to me personally. This is this message, which, which relates to the uh, description that will post through the general ledger. We'll also post to the job journal as well. Uh, and a bit of a note to the manager as well, saying this has been pre-approved. 
Now I can still send this off for an approval, but that's just a comment that we can be also collecting. So there's the document date of the 15th of the 4th that we did and the expense has been allocated to accommodation expense. Now that will flow through to the GL um, account AD430. Um, this is the amount and the actual job. Now I can choose to make this billable if I so wish to do so. Um, but if I do that, I would also need to make sure that we change this uh, job line type to uh, billable as well. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as a non-billable uh, expense. There's the two dimensions as well that have been ready to uh, that have been allocated. So this status is pending approval. So I have to go to process and force an approval. Do you want to force the approval of this expense? I do. Uh, the status must be equal to equal. Oh, that's right. I've got to go to my front screen. So this is a, a process to follow um, if I've got a manager to submit send this to. So I'll, I will go to the approval window here. And I'll approve, reject, forward, leave it on hold, view it. Um, if I'm out of office, I can assign it to someone else as well. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to approve this. So that's now been approved. We followed our process and I can actually process the request now. So I'm just going to refresh my screen just so you can see the pending move from pending uh, to um, to ready to post, as you can see here. So it was there, it is now ready to post. So a different invoicing person can do the ready to, the posting side if need be as well. So all I need to do uh, is go to process, post. This posts that expense. Now I get a message about this not being linked to a job planning line, which is fine, expected because it's not billable. Done. So that a payment can now be sent off uh, for reimbursement. But let's see what's happened to the job module. Let's go to our list of jobs. Look at this uh, job number 10 that we were discussing today. And here's our expense, number 950. And this is the actual expense line that's come across. So we've able to capture this expense line, posting to the GL with the accommodation as a, a cost to the sale of the item, uh, of the job, but we're not on billing the cost to the customer. So that's a very simple process and very easy way of managing your expenses and being reimbursed for those expenses. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.